हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स स्क्वायर्स एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स लेक्चर नंबर एट लेट अस रिकैपिचुलेट प्रीवियस कंसेप्ट द कंसेप्ट विच वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड रिगार्डिंग द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अ नंबर दैट इज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अ गिवन नंबर लेट अस रिवाइज इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर द एग्जाम्पल टेकन इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन स्टूडेंट्स एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर दैट द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वी आर सपोज टू प्लेस द बार्स ओवर एवरी पेयर ऑफ डिजिट्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द यूनिट्स डिजिट लाइक वाइज इन दिस केस इट विल बी ट्वेंटी नाइन द फर्स्ट बार विल बी ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन Likewise, we need to place the bars on every digits, and the remaining digit is seven in this case, so that will be placed under another bar. After this, find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to seven. Such a number is two because two square is four. So we will be taking that is two into two that will be four. Now after subtracting four from seven, I will be getting the remainder as three. Now after this. Bring down the pair of digits under the next bar that is two twenty nine. Now the dividend is three hundred and twenty nine. After that, we need to double the quotient that is two double of two two in this case that is double of two will be four. And after that, we want a new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by that new digit, the Product is less than or equal to the dividend. Here, in this case, when forty-seven is being multiplied by seven, we will be getting three hundred and twenty-nine, and the remainder will be zero. So, the square root of seven hundred and twenty-nine is twenty-seven. After that, we have learnt about estimating the square root. How to estimate the square root of a given number? In this case, we need to divide the given number into two groups. and after that we need to use the properties of square uh, numbers to find the uh, digit at tens place and the digit at ones place if it is a four digit number now today's key points in this lecture we shall learn about the square root of decimal numbers and how to estimate the number of digits in the square root of a number let us find out or learn the steps to find out the square root of decimal numbers the very first step is to find the square root of a decimal number we put bars on the integral part of the number in the usual manner and place bars on the decimal part on every pair of digits beginning with the first decimal bar place second step is find the largest number whose square is less than or equal to the number under the extreme left bar take this number as the divisor and the number under the leftmost bar as the dividend divide and get the remainder step 3 is write the number under the next bar to the right of this remainder step 4 is double the divisor and enter it with the blank on its right step 5 is guess a largest possible digit to fill the blank which will also become the new digit in the quotient such that when the new divisor is multiplied to the new quotient the product is less than or equal to the dividend divide and get the remainder step 6 is repeat steps 3 4 and 5 until the remainder does not become zero so we are supposed to do all these six steps to find the square root of a decimal number let us understand all these steps with the help of an example here we are supposed to find out the square root of 7 decimal 29 using division method now as the very first step is we are supposed to put arrows or bars on the pairs of integers from right to left and on the decimal part from left to right like 29 we have done it as we are we used to do to find out the square root of a uh, number and before decimal we are supposed to start placing the bars from the digit which is before just before the decimal that is 7 here in this case now again i want the greatest number whose square is 
सेवन और इट शुड बी लेस देन सेवन सो हेयर इन दिस केस इट इज टू इंटू टू दैट इज फोर आफ्टर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग फोर फ्रॉम सेवन इट विल बी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन नाउ द डिविडेंट इज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन आफ्टर दिस वी नीड टू डबल द क्वेश्चन दैट इज टू हेयर इन दिस केस डबल ऑफ टू विल बी फोर एंड अगेन आई वॉन्ट द लार्जेस्ट पॉसिबल डिजिट टू फिल द ब्लैंक which will be the new digit in the quotient also such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by the new digit in the quotient the product is less than or equal to the dividend that is 47 is to be multiplied by 7 so that either the answer should be less than 329 or equal to 329 so here in this case after multiplication of 47 and 7 i will be getting 329 one more step is required like when i will be having decimal after 7 this decimal is to be shifted along with 2 in the quotient part so the square root of 7 decimal 2 9 it will be 2 decimal 7 note the point here to note is when square root of a number is not exact to find its approximate value correct to a certain place of decimal we obtain the square root of the given number to one more place and then round off to the desired place now how to estimate the number of digits in the square root of a number first method is number of digits is equal to number of bars for example usually to find the square root of a number we need to place the bars on the digits so here if i will be i will be placing the bars on 729 so i will be having two bars and its square root is 27 so in 729 there are two bars and number of digits in its square root is 2 and method 2 is if perfect square is of n digits then its square root will have n by 2 digits if n is even or n plus 1 by 2 digits if n is odd let us have a look on the example number of digits in 729 is 3 which is an odd number so number of digits in its square root will be 3 plus 1 divided by 2 that will be 4 divided by 2 that will be equal to 2 let us come to now homework part today's homework is from exercise 6.4 you are supposed to complete question number 2 second part third part question number 3 first part and third part question number 8 question number 9 in homework notebook and students you are supposed to complete all the parts of all the questions though we have discussed only two two parts in some questions or three or four parts in few questions but you are supposed to complete all the questions from your ncert book the ex from the exercises which we have uh, studied or which we have covered so in today's lecture we have learned about how to find out the square root of a decimal number and after that we have learned about how to find out the number of digits or estimate the number of digits in the square root of a decimal number coming to homework solutions of lecture 7 that is the previous lecture question number 1 find the square root of each of the following numbers by division method second part i gave you as homework that is 4489 in this case 4489 again the very first step is place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the units digit that is 89 will be under one bar 44 will be another under another bar after that we need to find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 44 So six into six that will be thirty six. After subtracting thirty six from forty four, I will be getting eight. Now after this, I need to bring down the pair of digits under the next bar that is eighty nine. And now the new dividend is eight hundred and eighty nine. The double of six is twelve. Now I want to find out. I need to find out the largest possible digit to fill the blank along with twelve. 
and which will also be the new digit in the question such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by the new digit in the question the product is less than or equal to dividend so i will be taking if i will be taking 127 that is to be multiplied by 7 so, so as to get 889 and the remo remainder is again zero in this case so the square root of 4489 is 67 Coming to fifth part that is 3249. Again the very first step is place the bars over every pair of digits starting from the units digit. 49 will be under one bar. 32 will be in a, under another bar. After that find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 32 here in this case. So it will be 5 into 5. 25 which is less than 32 after subtracting 25 from 32 i will be getting 7 now bring down the pair of digits under the next bar that is 49 here in this case so the new dividend will be 749 double of 5 is 10 now again i need to find the largest possible digit to fill the blank along with the which will also be the new digit in the question such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by that number new digit in the question the product is less than or equal to the dividend so here if i will be taking 107 multiplied by 7 you will be getting 749 and the remainder will be zero again in this case so the square root of 3249 is equal to 57 Coming to 7th part that is 5776, again here in this case place the bars over every pair of digits starting from units digit like 76 will be under one bar, 57 will be the an under another bar. Now we need to find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 57. So 7 into 7, 49 is less than 57. After subtracting for, uh, 49 from 57, I will be getting 8. Now bring down the pair of digits under the next bar. So uh, 76 will be written along with 8 and the new dividend will be 876. Double of 7 will be 14. Now I need the uh, largest possible digit along with 14 which will also be the new digit in the question along with 7 such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by the new digit in the question the product should be less than or equal to the dividend. So when 146 is being multiplied by 6 we will be getting 876 and the remainder will be 0 in this case. So the square root of 5776 is 76. Coming to 8th part that is 7921. Again in this case we need to place the bars over every pair of digits starting from the units digit that is 21 will be under one bar 79 will be under another bar now i want the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 79 so 8 into 8 that will be 64 and i will be if i will be subtracting 64 uh, 4 from 79 i will be getting 15 as the remainder and um, now the new div dividend will be uh, 1521 double of 8 that will be 16 now i want the largest possible digit to fill the blank along with 16 and which will also be the new digit along with 8 in the question such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by the new digit in the question the product is less than or equal to the dividend that is 1521 in this case so after multiplying 169 by 9 i will be getting 1521 which is uh, on subtracting i will be getting zero as the remainder so the square root of 7921 will be 89 coming to question number four find the least number which must be subtracted from each of the following numbers so as to get a perfect square students we have learned about uh, the addition uh, how uh, which number is to be added to the given number so as to become to get a perfect square number and we have studied about which number is to be divided from the given number so as to get a perfect square number in those two cases we have used prime factorization method to find out by which number I need to multiply or by which number I need to divide but here this is the case of subtraction means I need to subtract a number from the given number so that it becomes a perfect square also I need to find the square root of the perfect number so obtained so let us discuss it with the help of an example 
or uh, that is question number fourth third part uh, here in this case the number is 3250 in case of subtraction and addition we are supposed to use the method of long division that is square root of a particular number is to be calculated using the long division method and not by prime factorization method like 3250 again the same procedure we are supposed to place a bar over every pair of digits starting from the units digit that is 50 will be under one bar 32 will be under another bar now i need to find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 32 so 5 into 5 that is 25 which is less than 32 after subtracting 25 from 32 i will be getting 7 now bring down bringing down the pair of digits under the next bar that is 50 now the number will be 750 or the dividend will be 750 double of 5 is 10 here in this case so i want to multiply I want to take the largest possible digit to fill the blank along with 10 and which will also be the new digit along with 5 in the question such that when I need to multiply these two numbers, I should be getting the answer either equal to 750 or less than that. So if I will be multiplying 107 by 7, I will be getting 749 and the remainder will be 1 in this case. Now, when it is a case of subtraction, I need to directly subtract the remainder from the given number the given number was 3250 and the remainder was 1 so we need to subtract the remainder from the given number and the required perfect square will be 3249 and the square root of 3249 will be 57 which was the question also we have seen in the previous slide Coming to question number 5, this is the question, find the least number which must be added. We have studied in question number 4, what is the least number which must be subtracted from the given number so as to get a perfect square. Now this is a case of addition. As I told you that whenever it is a case of subtraction and addition, we are supposed to find out the square root of a number using long division method. So the number here is 1825. So the square root of 1825 will be calculated as again the following uh, steps which we are using it to find the square root of a number like place a bar over every pair of digits starting from units digit. After that uh, 25 will be under one bar, 18 will be under another bar. After that, we need to find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 18. So, 4 into 4, 16 is the number which is less than 18. Now, after that, bring down the digits, pair of digits under the next bar 25, which will be written now the, uh, along with 2. And now the new dividend will be 225. Double of 4, that will be 8 here in this case. So, uh, now I want to fill the blank along with 8 and uh, the digit along, uh, new digit along with 4. So that if I multiply those two numbers, I should be able to get the answer uh, equal to either 225 or less than 225. So, if I will be taking 82 into 2, I will be getting 164. And now here, in this case, the remainder is 61. Students, whenever it is a case of addition, like which number is to be added, in this case, in that case, I need to add 1 to the question. That is 42 plus 1, that is 43 square. And from 43 square, I need to subtract the given number that is 1825. And the number which I will be getting, that is to be added to the given number. Like, here the remainder is 61. This shows that 42 square is less than 1825. I have added 1 to the question that is 42 plus 1, that is 43 square is equal to 1849. Now, the number is to be added. From 43 square, I need to subtract the given number. I am get, I got 24 here in this case. So, 24 is to be added to the given number so that I can get the perfect square number that is 1849. And uh, the square root of 1849 is 43. Coming to question number 6, find the length of the side of square whose area is 441 meter square. Students, I hope you all know that area of the square is equal to side of a square into side of a square. 
so it means 441 meter square is equal to side of a square whole square after that we need to find out the square root of 441 to find out the side of a square so using long division method i have seen uh, i have told you earlier also how to find the square root of a number so using that method you will be able to find out the square root of 441 like the same process we need to apply placing the bars over over every pair of digits starting from units digit that will be 41 under one bar 4 will be under another bar then i need to find the greatest number whose square is less than or equal to 4 here in this case so 2 into 2 4 i have taken uh, the 4 4 minus 4 that will be 0 now double uh, again I need to bring down the pair of digits that will be 41 here in this case will be written along with 0 double of 2 will be 4 here in this case now I want to write a largest possible digit to fill the blank along with 4 and along with 2 in the question such that when the new divisor is being multiplied by the new digit in the question the product is either less than 41 or equal to the 41 as the new dividend was 41 so 41 into 1 that will give you 41 so the square root or side of a square will be square root of 441 that is 21 meters coming to question number 7 in a right triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree. Let us have a look on first part. If AB is equal to 6 cm, BC is equal to 8 cm, we are supposed to find out AC. Let us make a triangle first. AB as it is given to us 6 cm, right angle at B, uh, right angle at B, so uh, and BC is equal to 8 cm. We need to find out AC. Students, I hope you all know about Pythagoras theorem and we are supposed to find out the hypotenuse that is AC in this case. So we will be using Pythagoras theorem and according to Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square will be equal to 6 cm square plus 8 cm square and AC square will be 100. AC will be square root of 100. I hope you all know using uh, either using prime factorization method or by using long division method or otherwise also you know that square root of 100 is 10 cm. So AC is equal to 10 cm here in this case and I hope uh, you have understood all the concepts properly and you will be capable enough to solve all the questions based on the concepts which I, I have discussed in this lecture as well as in the previous lectures. Thank you.